you know, I warned y'all since my original channel, all the way to my current channel about putting disagreements between black men and black women out in front of the world where other people can come in and make comments and instigate shit. I warned y'all this is going to happen. Now, I have no, no, um, no vested interest in what's going on out here with uh, Tommy Sotomayor and the sister that he's having disagreement with or sisters. I have I have no uh, vested interest in um, painless getting getting criticized by those white men and white women that he seemed to love so much. But I I, I can't help but sit back and laugh. I've warned y'all what was what was going to happen when we kept putting our dirty laundry out in public. <coughs> when when um when when uh, pain excuse me when painless and that that sister Miss B X Princess decided they wanted to bad mouth me. With white folk, I told y'all, they're going to get their comeuppance. I told you they're going to get their criticisms. And it's videos and commentary out here where I've come across those white YouTubers they've talked about and said, look at them niggas talk about another black person with white or people they think is not white. And I sat there and, I, and, I, and I've been tempted to, to, to screen capture those videos and put those, put them up where everybody can see it. But the other, I came across a video uh, yesterday where a white guy basically called out Painless because Painless is out there name dropping Tommy name, and Tommy never asked him to drop his name. He got into a, a, a disagreement with Tommy and that black that black sister out there. He should never got into it, but Painless can't help himself. He's a shit starter. He he goes to black YouTube channels and he great he wanna he wanna he wanna people to, to he wanna agree with their videos, but he he forget people out on YouTube recognize his name. They don't know the videos he put out. That's how he came to me. When he came to me about black women, he thought because some of these sisters out here was mis misinformed or a lot of manipulating and thinking that I was against black women, he figured, oh, I can go talk to Harvey Superman and we can bash black women together. And I said, dude, I ain't getting down there because I told y'all a lot of those channels were troll channels. A lot of them was bogus channels. He got pissed off and he started bad math me with the very black woman that I warned him about or warned other YouTubers about, you know, this sister, this sister got some issues. This sister is color struck. He got with her and talked about me, then went on another channel with some people and talked about all kinds of bitches. But nonetheless, what they both did is something I can never forgive. They talked about me and other black YouTubers or white YouTubers who was at, who've got got channels up here, have been up here for years, who have called us niggas, who they've helped, who helped false flag our channels. So I found ironic that the white guy came and checked uh, Painless, and basically he stood down. Didn't call him out his name, didn't make any videos attacking the criticizing. Then now, because of uh, Painless affinity or love or defense of anything white, Cause he got videos out here under different accounts. Cause he got two or three videos where he's gonna he go back and talk about how whites do this better. They got their stuff. They're smarter. He sits there and white folks love that shit. So when he name drops another black YouTuber and they go check out the video, the channel he's talking about, and they see Tommy criticism of a certain type of black woman in our community or a, a large number of black women in our community, they say, "Look at them niggas fighting each other." Let me go put my two cent in. So this becomes this, this brouhaha. And that's what I see out here now. You got a bunch of white men and white women throwing up video replies or comments about Tommy Sotomayor trying to tell him how he should, should generalize black women. And I'm going to tell you something. I've watched his videos. And I've had some disagreements with him. Matter of fact, me and him, I, I wouldn't say we had words, but I had told him on my old channel I had lost respect for him because he had made a criticism about... Um, our elders, those who who like Drevin Jackson, them. I said these men are not perfect, but let's not get out here name calling, disrespecting them. Cause white folk don't do that shit. So I and I should have sent him a personal message. I did it out in public, and that was my fuck up, right? So some other black YouTubers came out. Oh, Tommy's the truth, and I said that wasn't what I was arguing about about the, his other content. So after I sat back and I said, I see what's going on. We're being manipulated. We got people who are uneducated or people with self-hate issues or people don't have no idea what was really said jumping in. So I went to Tommy and I said, hey, man, I apologize. I should have PM you. I said, you have your opinion. I have my opinion. Left it at that. And I've, I've sent comments to his channel. I said, good video. Or I, if, if I didn't agree with something, I didn't leave anything. And that's how it's supposed to work. If you don't agree with somebody, you move on. 
And then the whole thing about him and his black woman. And I'm not getting into that because I don't know how it started. I know I've heard Tommy's story. I've heard her story. And I don't want anybody to think I'm taking sides because I'm not. Because I think as black people, as black men, black women, we got too much shit going on for us to keep doing this to each other. That's my opinion. That's why I never got down in the dirt with that sister that has been harassing me. Because that's what people want. That's what that's what those people who thrive off that to justify their self-hatred or hatred of them being black, they want that to happen. So I said, I ain't going to give nobody what they want. I'm going to take the high ground. Now, granted, my channel has been false flag. I've been negative comments. Videos been voted down. I've been mocked. But when I found out which YouTuber was doing it, I said, oh, you dirty motherfucker, you. But nonetheless, I'm sitting here watching this and all this stuff that's happened to me. The disagreements I've had with some of my brothers and sisters, some of the misinterpretations of what I was said or what they've said, I've never got back and bad mouth on white YouTubers. Never fucking did it. But now I see it going on right now, and I'm saying, y'all are fools. Y'all are fools. If Tommy and that sister got a disagreement, let them two deal with that. But when I see white men, whether you agree with what they say or not, they have no place in our discussions. Because they are not going to let a black person get in their business. They'll stop you at the door. They're like, uh-uh, wait a minute. What, 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 what right do you have to say? We deal with our own. And thanks to a peanated brother, A.K. Painless, A.K. whatever his name he want to go by, he dropped Tommy's name and he brought all this unwanted attention. Not just to Tommy's channel or that sister that, Tim and T that Tommy and her having disagreement with, but everybody else have left a comment on, on, a, on these channels, whether they agree or not. A lot of people think because they click on the name. Say, for instance, I went to Tommy's channel and I said, and I said, I, I put laugh out loud. That don't mean I necessarily agree with it. I might have found it funny. Or I might have found it silly or whatever. But by my name being associated, they go to my channel and they see any videos that I have a like on it or a video you have a like on it. They're going to think that you actually love that video when that's just a standard term that YouTube use. Instead of saying saved video. Or say, you know what I mean? They used to term like because there's videos out there that I I, I, des I despise, but I save them because you need references to go back and look at things. I told y'all this shit was gonna happen. It was gonna blow up on our face. And when I warned y'all, I said, "Y'all, we out here attacking each other over little shit because we trying to get YouTube partnerships," which I think is so stupid. Because notice all the people. That I had beef with, I'm, I'm, excuse me, not beef, disagreement with, or had disagreement with me. It was because I was putting up videos too consistently, consistently, excuse me, on a regular basis, let me say it like that. And they was afraid that I was going to make YouTube partner. And that's not why I put these videos. Y'all have never seen me, me use, you put a commercial up or advertise anything. Because these corporations ain't giving me, a, I'm not on their payroll. These corporations don't do anything with us in our community. In fact, a lot of them ignore us. So why would I turn around and make YouTube and uh, we already making the money by putting a video giving traffic to their channels? Why would I turn around and get Fortune 500 companies don't have anything to do with us or barely anything to do with us more make them richer? So those brothers and sisters, I got to take this nigga out because we got that slave mentality. We do it to each other all the time. Crabs in a barrel. But I told y'all this shit was going to happen. I told y'all, a lot of these channels out here, y'all think they black. They're not black. You pick up on patterns. You pick up on words. But we do have brothers and sisters out here on YouTube who are color struck. And all Painless did, and, and, and these other people out here, and I, I ain't going to mention their name, but Painless is the most egregious at this point, is bring unwanted attention to our channels. I mean, the white guy that that did the video of uh, uh, of, of him. I'm I'm look I'm listening to the guy comment. He basically told Painless, "You don't know what the fuck you talking about." And Painless stood down. But he came at me nonstop, and other black dudes making videos, false flagging, creating channels, and doing all kinds. Of shit. I'm like, wow, man. So a white man comes at you, getting your business, and tell you what you what you know and don't know, and you stood down. Here it is, if Tommy and that sister got issued, let them deal with that. But you open that stuff up, I agree with Tommy. All you're doing is trying to bring unwanted attention, and you're doing, and I know what you're doing. You're doing the reverse. You help him take that brother down. Whether you agree with his videos, whether I agree with him or not, you help you bring unwanted attention. And I see white folk putting videos up now about Tommy. 
the very same white folk that was calling you a nigga, calling me a nigga, calling black men a black woman nigga, now they all popping up video replies. That's Tommy's view. Anybody with common sense would know that he's not talking about all black women or, 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 these, or these videos with some of these sisters out here are not talking about all black men. But we, we, we so hell bent and putting our business out in front of the world. This is why everybody think they can analyze us. This is why every other group know they can pick our ass off because we don't have any tact. We don't sit back and say, you know what, I'm not going to say anything. I warned y'all this shit was going to happen. And y'all thought, oh, you just talking. You being paranoid. I said, okay. Watch the number. And I, and I might get start getting back hit hard again. So be it. Excuse me. But I know. I, I, but, but see, because I, I sit back and I watch these things. Here it is right now. If a black man and black woman went to a white person channel and jumped into their, their discussions, white folk, white white people tell you, regardless, they say, you don't know us. This is between me and him, me and her. But I'm telling you, and on the spot, the Pinay brother, painless, he got him. And I've warned y'all, now y'all starting to see the pattern. Y'all seeing what I'm talking about. I said what he's doing is he's, he's, a, he's an infiltrator. He's dropping all of a sudden. He's dropping Tommy. He he and think about it. All the black folk that he had issue with, you notice all of a sudden we got a large uptick of negative comments and white people leaving comments on our channel. The sister that 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 came to my channel got pissed off at me because I was calling out white racism. She got mad because I ignored her. She went and talked about me with white men and white women. I'm saying like, wow. But and I said apparently she don't go to their channels and she don't read their comments. Here it is. I defend, I defend my people within reason. But I will never ever get with a white man or a white woman. Regardless if they're making a, a point. And you, a, the point is, is logical. I will never get with them and talk about our own people in front of them. That's asinine. They can have disagreement, but they will never do it in front of you. Because they won't give you that power. This is how our community has been able to get picked off for the last 500 more. Especially the last 40 years. Every one of us is over the age of 18, at least I believe, out here on YouTube. And sometimes a motherfucker don't like what you say, keep moving. Grow the fuck up, people. But no, we all get butt hurt. Now, if you want to put out a video saying, hey, no, this person is saying this about me. Y'all know I'm not, I'm not getting into the mud with that person. That's different. But when you come back for tit for tat videos like little kids, and then you then you let the people outside the community come in and make comments and get a two cent, you ain't no earthly good. Like I told y'all in some of my other videos, there have been black women that I've been with or know that have been very disrespectful to me, and I've been very respectful. But you know what? I would never ever get with a white man or white woman and talk about them. After all the crap they've done or continue to do or excuse, come on. I'll give you a perfect example. I'm not a fan of Chris Rock, right? And I told y'all in videos, I'm not a fan of Chris Rock or these or open Winfrey and them, but I would never ever get with white folks to talk about them. That's, a, that's, that's something we do among each other. Because white folks ain't going to let you come in their community and talk about another white person in front of them. I, I remember I was in the Army. And this guy I, he was, was a screw up. And his cousin knew he was a screw up. But you know what he told the black soldiers? You guys ain't going to talk about my cousin. I get to do that. I'm the only one to get to do that. Now people going to say it's a diff. He's fan. But no. Nah. It was black guys criticizing his cousin. And he didn't like that shit. And he stood his ground. But he had no problem criticizing us. Because we don't sit back and check people outside of the community. And say, uh, dude, you stepping out of bounds. We know there's some whole shit as black men and black women out here. But before, but, before, but before a white man or any other person that don't associate himself with us come out and get criticized, you need to put them back in their place. They can have the most, most uh, on-point uh, uh, opinion or observation, but still you don't get that right considering what's going on in this country. Cause they, they won't call out their people when they do shit, but they're ready to check you. This is why I don't understand why they come to our channels or come to websites and ingratiate themselves in our conversations. But because we have the sick need for their acceptance and their approval. 
And before any of y'all think that I'm a fan of Tommy's or uh, 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 or I'm taking that shit, I'm not. I'm staying neutral because I think adults need to start talking to each other like adults and stop making insults to each other on both sides. But when you got a guy like Painless dropping names and saying things and putting up videos, he's doing it for an alternative reason. And I'm telling you right now, he's the one that comes in and causes dissension among our people. And then when somebody outside the community see what he's doing, they check him. He gets scared because he's like, uh-oh, they're going to find me out. Please, boss, don't tell them what I'm doing. I'm doing this for you. Read some of these comments. Go to these channels. Listen to the tone of the videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I've warned y'all what was going to happen. Oh, Harvey, you being paranoid. Oh, we got to get, we got to stop that nigga. He talking too much. Why in the fuck would y'all sit back with white men and white women and talk about each other like that? Now, people say we on YouTube. Aren't you doing that? I'm talking to us in general. I'm talking to us about things that we need to correct. This is why I don't understand. When I do videos talking about our issues, you always got some white person want to jump in. And that's why a lot of them have been, been, been pissed off at me, calling me niggas and making threats because I don't let them come to my channel and get in our conversations. This is not about them. And people going to say, oh, you shouldn't be on YouTube. No, we have to make YouTube. Why should, why should our PNB shouldn't be heard? But like I said, brothers and sisters, maybe we need to start putting disclaimers in our videos when we're talking about each other or talking about things in our, in our community. So maybe I need to start back seeing some because some of our people are not bright enough to realize that, that I or somebody else may not be talking about all. I would never make a generalization about all black people or, all, or any, all anybody. That wouldn't be fair. But when I see white men and white women coming, getting into channels, criticizing, and I'm going to tell you something, even though I'm not a fan of Painless, I think I think he, he's, he's a turncoat. I don't like the fact that a white man or a white woman is coming telling him how he should talk. That rubs me the wrong way. But then people say, Harvey, but you know, he brought it on himself. True. But still, it's just something that gives me a cold chill. It's sort of like, and I told y'all about the slave master and the slave mindset that we have in this country. This is why I tell black women, I say, y'all sat back and listen to white women for 40 something years and y'all and and y'all and y'all catching hell for it. And now y'all want to y'all want to direct y'all frustration and anger at black men who have done nothing to you. And the black man is mad because his, his father or grandfather or himself didn't stand up and, and, and stand up like a man and say enough is enough. So now we got two groups of hurt people jawjacking with each other and people outside of the community is getting a big kick out and they love it. And we got handkerchief heads, sambos, and coons out here are taking, taking, being opportunistic and trying to get involved in it and it's backfiring them on, on them too. I've told y'all it was a video of this Mexican out here, Mr. Flexican or something, that, that criticized pain. Was like, this nigga out here talking about his own people. That got to be the stupidest shit I ever heard. But while at the same time attacking me because I'm pointing this shit out. It's about tone, people. This is why community is in such state of flux. This is why our boys and girls don't respect the adult figures because we show our natural ass. When you get 12 years old, you pretty much have a good sense of right or wrong. When you get 16 and 17, you know what you like and you don't like. When you get 25, you didn't made enough mistakes and like to say, I'm not going to do that again. Why are we still making these mistakes in our late 20s and our 30s and 40s and into our 50s? If I have issue with a black YouTube or a black person in general, I would never get with a white man or white woman and bad mouth them. They don't, uh-uh. Why is they going to let you do that with their people? Why would we let it do with ours? No other group do it. We're the only people that turn on each other. We're the only group of people who don't step back and say, you know what? I disagree with you, brother. I disagree with you, sister. But hey, let's not do it like this. This is why I didn't get in the mud with that sister that was coming at me and making bogus channels and false flag and calling me all kinds of names and putting videos about me. I didn't do it. I could have done it. But I said, nope, I'm not, I'm not going to do that because that's what she wants. That's what some of these sisters out here and those people outside can me want to see black men and black women fight. And that's what some of the videos with Tommy was talking about. But some of these people out here don't realize or they butt her or don't want you putting the mirror up and saying, oh, she's calling us out. 
When some of these sisters put videos about black men, some of the brothers get butt hurt because some of our brothers do this. We do got some black men in our community or who, who are weak minded or don't carry themselves like men. Just like we got some black women in our community, but I would never ever get with white folk and talk about our people with each other. That's some treacherous shit. I don't care if I'm white men or white women on point about everything. You just don't do that shit. Cause all you doing is allowing them to get a foothold and influence our thinking. This is why our community is in a state of flux. This is why parents are not allowed to be parents anymore because we let people outside the community tell you this is how you raise your son and daughter. And look what's happened in the last 20 years. We've paid for it. Look on TV how they pushing they pushing into ethnic relationships. Every time a black man, black woman, look like they're going to reconcile, they're always out there yelling, Yo, it, don't do it. This is why you know when the whole thing with Chris and Rihanna went down, who was yelling the loudest for Chris and Rihanna not to get together? White women and a few white men. Because those white men wanted access to Rihanna and those white women wanted to have access to the black men or have or wanted to whisper in her ear and say, I got some cred with, with black women now. They won't look at us as the enemy. I keep telling y'all, y'all better pick your fucking history books up or open your eyes and ask questions. This is why certain black YouTube channels are getting put down. Because we're putting this shit out there for y'all to consume. But y'all just hell bent on just, th just saying, nope, I don't want to believe it. All these years I've been told this and now you're getting old and you're seeing it and you're scaring the fuck out of you. So if Tommy and this woman he's having disagreement with... Or other YouTubers having disagreement with him or anybody else. Y'all do that in a way that y'all want to put it out here and allow other people to come and get their two cents in. Whether they on point or not. Because I just, I get a cold chill when I see people outside of our community comment on relationships and telling black men how they should respond and treat their women. When in fact, they, they don't treat their women with respect. But see, thanks to Painless, they can't end, end on the spot. He's brought unwanted attention to, to our community, to the YouTube community. Whether we agree with each other or not, we don't need that kind of that kind of drama. When I see videos popping up as, as Tommy, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, as a black man, whether I agree with Tommy or not, it runs me the wrong way. Even watching that video of the guy confront Painless. And he did it with respect, but nonetheless, he confronted him. It brought him like, part of me like, ha, ah, that's your ass get. But then another part of me like, wait a minute, hold on, something ain't right here. Like when we see those videos of white women getting out here talking about black women, or talking about how much they love black men, and talking about us like we're just sexual creatures, don't they rub you the wrong way? Here it is, you got people out here killing our people, disrespecting our people, and we sit back like fools instead of us realizing, you know what, we got a common enemy, we need to stop respecting and love each other, at least respect each other enough not to do shit in public. But now nah, we doing this out in, in YouTube. We doing this on different websites. We getting on TV shows, talk shows, talking about each other in general terms. Black men ain't nothing. Black men are dogs. Come on, people. I've been talking about this since 2010. And y'all seem to be hell bent on just saying, you know what, fuck it. We just gonna, we don't give a fuck about each other. This is why people have this mindset with us that they're superior to us in thinking. No, what they've gotten good at is manipulating us. If you take a person who's vulnerable and you constantly keep hitting that person and their vulnerabilities, after a while, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Then they pass that mindset on to their children, to their children, children, and it becomes a generational thing. This is why you got black folk every time we, you, a black person try to do something. Oh, don't white folk going to stop you. Don't, don't do it. Stop it. They're going to stop you. I don't have that mindset. Never did, never will. But I keep trying to warn y'all out here. Y'all be doing their work for them. So, like I said, painless, he brought unwanted attention to not only to that sister channel, but Tommy channel as well. And a lot of our other YouTube channels out here, black YouTube channels out here. But, but I'm telling y'all, y'all probably came across that video where that white man did a, a reply or rebuttal video to him. And he stood down real quick. I want to see him come out and do a video about them white people criticizing him. I want to see it. If he don't do it, it tells you everything I said has been on point. But he ain't going to do it because he has an Uncle Ruckus type personality. This is the same guy that came in my channel exing me that I'm not a real black man. I should forgive him. But yet the people is attacking you. You stood down from it when I never attacked you. 
like I said, I don't have no 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 um no winner or loser here. Like I said, I've gone to Tommy's channel. I've watched his videos. I watched his sister videos in question. I found them entertaining. I just sit back and say, you know, you got two black men and you got two black people, excuse me, that should be just sitting here saying, you know what, we agree to disagree. Let's move on. Let's not keep this shit going. God, people love when black men and black women are fighting or disagreeing because they can come in and take and manipulate both sides. Then you got the handkerchief element in our community who 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 wants acceptance by the so-called dominant. So they're gonna go and they're gonna start shit up. But I find it troublesome when I start seeing videos from white men and white women with comments from them in, in high numbers. That that is that's just something that just I don't like. And I'm telling you who brought this attention to it. White folks wasn't going on Tommy Channel like that. And if they were, they knew how far to go and what to say, not to bring no attention to themselves. Now, all of a sudden, you got a white man on TV because Tommy called a black woman out. or Not better yet, he called, he said something about white men, about their interactions with black women. And those white men can't take that shit. So I hope that sister and Tommy can, can, can squash whatever disagreements they have because I'm telling you, we don't need that shit out here on YouTube among ourselves. We got too much issues out here because I'm going to tell you what we need to focus on. We need to po focus on the element in our community is self-destructive. Okay, that means the, the violence, the uneducated, the laziness. That's what we need to focus on out here in YouTube. We need to focus on getting our people educated. We need to call those brothers and sisters who have sold us out for, for little or no money. That's where our goal needs to be. That's the tone should be. And I'm praying that we as black YouTubers, or just black people in general, stop putting our dirty laundry out there for everybody to see. So I'm not supporting Tommy, I'm not supporting that sister, I'm not supporting Painless, I just want us to all stop it. Please, brothers and sisters, we gotta stop doing this to each other. Because y'all don't watch the news or not paying attention, we are being picked off one by one. 